Welcome to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where you get practical steps to help you become the best version of yourself and achieve your goals. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you if you listen to this when it comes out. I'd like to welcome you all, old and new, to another episode of the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I make personal development easy so that you can achieve your goals, get that motivation, do all the things you put your mind to, and so much more. If you like the sounds of that and you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a rating and review if you listen to this on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. The podcast is back after having a week off because I was sick. I caught COVID. Most of my symptoms were mild. I didn't really have too many major symptoms. I just had fatigue, body aches and headaches for the most part. Then I have like a cough go away and then come back. And then I have congestion come here and go back. It was just like that the whole time. But I was just really laid down. I took that opportunity to just let my body relax and just chill and just catch up on some rest that I know that I've been lacking for a while. So that's what I did. I just stayed in the bed, just let my body recover. And now we back this week and I miss y'all. How y'all feeling? How you been feeling over this week? How's your holiday? If you celebrated Easter or not, or just how you feeling overall in general, your mental health, spiritual, emotional, physical, how you doing today? If you're not doing too well, I want to tell you, I encourage you to keep on pushing through whatever struggles you're going through and you will get through it. And as usual, you know, to check out all the links down below before we dive into the show, go ahead and check out the coaching program. You have the YouTube videos down there. You have link to the social media. You have everything down there that you need. Go ahead and feel free to reach out to me if you like to and introduce yourself. We're diving into today's daily tip. Today, I want to tell you, don't let the bad days overshadow your good days because there's going to be more bad days that you'll experience throughout life than good days. Don't allow those bad days to be a judgment on how your life is going. Because when you have those good days, I'm telling you, that's when it's going to feel that much better because you know how it feels to be down. So once you get up, that feeling is going to be great. That wraps it up for today's daily tip. Today's episode, I want to talk about stop being consistent and being inconsistent. And that may be your problem. If you're feeling stuck right now, if you feel like you're just on a hamster wheel or you just keep repeating the same cycle, you may be too consistent at being inconsistent. And when I say that, I'm talking about you showing up here and there. You're not staying consistent on your tracks no matter what you're going through. You stop and then you go. You stop and then you go, which we're going to dive into a little bit in this episode. And at the time of this recording, we are in the second quarter of the year. That fast. We already in springtime. Can you believe that? We already in April, January, February, March have all passed. But this is relevant wherever you listen to this, whenever you're listening to this. I don't care if it's third quarter, fourth quarter, you're three years down the line. If you listen to this, this is relevant in your life no matter what stage you're at, no matter what time of year it is. And right now, for many of us, we may not be as far as we had hoped to be at this point. And that's OK. It's normal. If you heard me a couple episodes ago, it's all right if you're not exactly where you want to be at this point, because this is the season for change. This is the season where things start to bloom. So don't feel like you're behind, like you're delayed, like you have uh, failed or something like that. Get that out of your mind. You may have those thoughts because you may still be in that same point that you've been in the beginning of the year, sitting in that same position, having those same thoughts, having those same dreams, but nothing has manifested for you. Nothing seems like it's worked out for you. And being in this position can make you lose confidence because you start to feel stagnant. You start to question what you're doing wrong. You're like, what am I doing wrong? Why am I not making that progress? Why do I feel like I'm just stuck? And those thoughts are normal. That's going to come up to you because you want to feel like you're making that progress as an individual with life. You want to feel like you're like you're going through the levels of life by moving. But you have to realize everything happens for a reason and everything is going to happen when it's desired to happen, when it's supposed to happen in your life. Not exactly when you want it to, but when it needs to happen. And when you think about yourself as an individual, you compare it to the rest of the world and everyone around you. Remember that you're your own person. And we all blossom and arrive to our own destination at different times. The challenge in this is sticking with something during these times when you're not experiencing the results. When you're going through life, when you're just trying things out and things just not working out for you. The most important thing is staying with it no matter what, no matter how hard it gets. And during these hard times, for some, it's easy for them to put their head down and just continue to pound away no matter what they face with. But honestly, this is not the case for most people and life in general. When you face hard times for majority of people, we tend to sit there and overthink. We overanalyze. We start to just think about what we can do different. What am I doing wrong? 
What is it that I need to change in my life? And you're not continuing to just move forward and just go with the punches. And this is perfectly normal. There's no right or wrong answer to this. It's no no special sauce to what you need to do in order to get that type of mentality. It's perfectly fine if you're one of those people who feel stuck at times from dealing with life's everyday problems. On top of the things that you're working with on yourself, it can all become so overwhelming where you feel like, like, damn, why is this happening to me? Why right now? Why is this happening at this moment? And I want you to understand that you are not alone. Don't feel like you're a failure. Don't feel like you're far behind because you're exactly where you need to be at this exact moment. When you first set your sights on doing something, you become excited. You know, when you start to think about a better life, when you start to think about the the goals you want to achieve, the businesses you want to start, just you on the other side, just being a better version of yourself. It's exciting because you're starting to see yourself at that higher level. This is the time where you have unlimited ideas, all the ambition and the energy in the world to devote to this new task. You know how you just start to research. You have all these ideas you express to other people. You starting to do all that research and you're just getting excited about all the things that you can see yourself doing in the future. You begin to do a lot of research on all these things and learn the new things. And in your mind, you can picture the end result. That's what you falling in love with. You falling in love with the end result for whatever it is that you intrigued with. You starting to research and look like, dang, what if I start to do this? I can see myself being here in the next one year, two years, six months. And that's what you're getting excited for. During the beginning process, you see people at the height of it, especially when you start to do that research, you start to do those Google searches, you're looking on YouTube, you just get inspiration. So you get inspiration from people who are already further ahead than you are. And that's where you see yourself going and you expect that to happen so fast. Many times these people are talking about what they're doing right now. They're not talking about their journey, all the struggles that they've been to. So you're not seeing all the struggles and things that they were faced with to get to where they are. You're hearing the rewards that they're experienced after going through the whole trench process, after going through those dark times, after going through those uncertain moments. You're not hearing that story. You're hearing all the accomplishments. This idea and vision gets you excited. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to see myself doing this. I'm going to make this happen for myself. And you start to think about how your life can change if you had just a fraction of the level of success that this person has had. If you see somebody saying, I make $100,000 a month, you're like, man, if I could just make $5,000 a month, if I could make $10,000 extra dollars a month, that'd be good for me. So you're starting to fall in love with the idea of it. And you not understand that you have to fall in love with the journey and the process of it before you even get to that stage. Reality starts to kick in as you start because you hit those roadblocks and a lot of questions aren't answered and the unknowns begin to pop up. You starting to think like, hold on, they made it seem so easy. They made it seem like it was just hop, skip and a jump to get over here. When it's a whole line of things you have to go through, it's a whole line of things that you have to learn, a lot of lessons that you have to go through. And that's what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about sticking through those lessons. When you face those roadblocks, what is it that's stopping you from continuing to move even though you face those things? Is it your work ethic? Is it your belief in yourself? What is it for you as an individual? You listening to this right now. Why is it that you feel like you're stopping in the middle of your tracks when things get hard? During this stage, it's easy to get burned out because the results aren't coming as fast as you want them to. And you want to change immediately. You need that change to happen right now in your life. Let me say this. The only way you're going to get a change in your life It's if you continue to accumulate all those small wins, showing up every day, being consistent when you don't see the results. That's the only way you're going to get that change in your life where you're like, damn, this was really worth it. And then you start to see that that other side of the coin come up. And this is the biggest trick to facing a new life. When you're looking to create something better for yourself. This is the hardest part is if you sticking with what you desire or what you envision yourself doing through those hard times. Are you willing and able to continue to show up when the results aren't rolling in? This is the time when that belief in your abilities and your vision will kick in. Just that belief in yourself that you can get through it, that you can figure it out. That vision of seeing yourself go there. Is that vision going to carry you over through these hard times? The way to succeed at anything is to never stop. If you listen to me long enough, then you heard me talk about this stuff before. Never stop. Continue to go. And it becomes redundant because you're like, I know that I understand it. But how do I get through these hard times? And most of the time, 
We don't hit our target because we give up when things get rough. When things get hard, we stop. We stop being consistent. We stop showing up every day because you're not seeing the results. You're like, let me go back to what I'm comfortable with. Let me go back to where I know what I'm going to get for these results. And that's where you fall back in that comfortability. Once those challenges start to rolling in, we cannot lose enthusiasm. You can't lose that energy that you had in the beginning. That fire you had at the beginning, it starts to get dim. This is the most important time during your journey where you must fight this desire to slow down and continue to show up. Continue to show up every day when you feel like you don't have what it takes, when you don't know the next action, when you don't know what you're supposed to do on the next stage. Just continue to write down those goals. Continue to put one foot in front of the other. Try new methods and ways to attack that target. If you slow down, all of that previous work will be for nothing. All those things that you've been doing up to this point will be for nothing at all because you stop in your progress. It's much easier to quit than it is to keep going. When you're not experiencing those positive results, especially when you see that you're not getting those results that you want or what you thought you should get at this point, it's always easier for you to quit and give up. You will have more losses than wins in life. The few wins that you experience will feel great because you know what it feels like to lose. You know how it feels to lose something. So when you start to get something that you've been going after that's been eluding you for so long, you can be like, yes, I finally got it. And I want you to have that feeling. I want you to have that feeling of of success. I want you to have that feeling of achievement. And the only way you get it is if you keep going. And many times your problem is, like I said, is that you being consistent at being inconsistent. You showing up when you want to, when you feel like it, when it's con- when it's convenient for you, when you feel like, OK, I have the energy to do it today. That's not how success works in anything. I don't care if you're looking to start a business, if you're just looking to create a better life. You have to show up on those hard days. Losing isn't real. It's an illusion and distraction on your path to your goal. I'm going to repeat that. Losing, the image of what they create and say is, is you losing or is a loss is just an illusion. It's all about how you interpret it. It's all a distraction on your path to your goal. So when you set that goal, it's going to be failures. It's going to be denials. It's going to be uncertain moments. But these moments are just distractions from what you need for yourself. I hear about people's dream of a better life. And I'm pretty sure you heard it before, too, how people always say, I want to create a better life for myself. I want to do something better. I want to create something for my kids or just something I can be proud of. Whether that be self-work or dreams of being an entrepreneur or starting a business or just becoming a part of something bigger than what they have right now. Majority of the time, it never happens for most people. And that's because they stop. Like I said, they consistent at being inconsistent. And I get it, though. Life is rough. And the more you desire out of yourself, the more challenges you may face. These challenges are turning you into that better version of you that you dream of. That better version of yourself is being unfolded during these times. It's hard to see because you're dealing with the pain of right now. You're dealing with the struggles of right now. You're like, man, how can I think about tomorrow when I need to eat right now? I get it. I've been there before. When you're just trying to figure out how you're going to get your next meal, how you're just going to get through this hard time right now to stop facing this, this uh, frustration, this stress that you're dealing with right now because you need a clear mind in order for you to function and focus on your goals. You need a clear mind in order for you to understand the next step for you to go. So your mind is clouded right now. Your thoughts are clouded. Like I said, you heard you heard my story. If you listened to me before. So I'm telling you, I've been there. Listen to me and my experience. Learn from my failures right now. This pain that you're dealing with is temporary and it always works itself out. And during these low times is where the law of attraction is the most important. So I want to ask you to visualize and feel what you're asking for. Feel yourself being in that better position. Do not sit in the pain of right now because it'll just continue to repeat itself because that's what you're putting into your mind. So that's what you're attracting into your life. Think about your past little moments and how they all behind you right now. Everything that you dealt with that was a struggle, everything that you dealt with where you thought you couldn't get through it, that stuff is all behind you right now and you can You can test to that right now. You can now explain to someone else how you got through that. And this is no different if you're going through something right now. There is no difference between that time and what you're going through right now. I don't care if it's much harder. It's the exact same thing. This is not different from that past experience that you had that you got through. 
You must show up despite what you're dealing with at the moment. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to you right now to just continue to show up and be consistent in your life. Be consistent at your efforts and whatever it is you're chasing, whatever it is you envision yourself being, stay consistent in becoming that person, achieving that goal, grabbing that goal because it's right there for you to get. It was put into your mind because you can do it. So stop being inconsistent at being consistent. Stop not believing in yourself. Stop not trusting yourself. Stop downing yourself in your own abilities. Stop doing that to yourself because you have what it takes to get whatever it is that was put into your mind. I'm telling you right now, go out there and do it. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to that person in the mirror. All those struggles you dealt with, all those things you overcame, you owe it to yourself to level up even more. So go out there and continue to level yourself up. Stop allowing temporary pains make you start from scratch. Don't allow the things you're going through right now to stop your momentum and stop setting yourself back. By stopping anytime things become challenging. Stop doing that. Anytime you face the challenge, do not stop. Just continue to move. Your problem isn't that you're not good enough or don't have what it takes. Your problem is that you're being consistent at being inconsistent. You're showing up when you feel like it or when you have a good day or that energy to do it. That's not how this works. Results do not care about your problems. They only respond to your actions. They only respond to the things that you're doing right now. They don't care about what you're feeling. Let your actions align with the direction you see yourself going. Let them align with where you know is the path that you desire, not the path that you're not desiring that's in your face right now. This is all temporary. So if you feel like you've been consistent at being inconsistent, I want to ask you to set a plan and stick to it no matter what. Set a small plan, even if it's not super clear. Just start writing things down. Put it down on paper. I'm not talking about putting it in your phone. I'm talking about having a notepad, writing it down with a pen and check that thing out every single day. The hard times you face are meant to distract you. That's all it is. It's just a distraction. There's no such thing as easy when it comes to life. Life is never easy. No matter what stage you get, I don't care if you feel like money is your problem once you get more money, you're going to face more problems. So never feel like, like your problems will be, zo- be resolved and you'll never face problems again. See things from a different perspective. When you start to face a hard time, look at it from a different perspective. Try to change your whole mindset and thought pattern behind it. Look at your challenges as opportunities to learn or grow. Don't look at your challenges as something sent to stop you in your tracks because that's not how this works. The moment you stop is like quicksand. It becomes harder and harder to dig yourself out of this hole because you have to build up that momentum. You have to build up that inspiration and just that will to keep going. And you start from scratch once you do. So once you get out of that quicksand and you back on top, you have to get your feet going again. You have to get yourself going. And that's where I'm telling you, whenever you going after something, just continue to move. Even if you even if you have bad days, you may have a day here and there where you stop, but continue to move towards what you envision yourself going after. So if you're in a space right now when you feel stuck or like things aren't going as you plan, stay consistent at chasing that goal. I keep repeating this because I want you to implant this into your head. If it's not working, don't be so stubborn to not try anything new because many times we'll get so stubborn and stuck in our ways that we want to try things that we that we're comfortable with. Sometimes we have to get out of our comfort zone. That's the only way for us to get to that next stage. We have to try something new, try something different. You may be trying to travel down a comfortable road and that road may be closed now. That road that you used to, that road that you're comfortable with, that you thought was the road that you should go down. It may be a blocked road and you don't even see that it's blocked right now. Either way, do not hesitate to embrace change and life and show up for yourself no matter what. So I want to see you start to become consistent at being consistent. That's the only way you're going to get the results that you desire in your life. That's the only way you're going to look up. Uh, six weeks, two months, three months, four months down the line and say, I'm happy that I stuck with this. So go out there and continue to stay consistent. This is your message. This is your inspiration. This is your your confirmation that you need it, that you are on the right path. Even if you're going through a hard time right now, as long as you have a vision and you know where you want to go, continue to show up every single day. I don't care how hard it gets, how impossible it may seem. Just continue to show up every single day and you're going to go on ahead and start to accumulate those W's so that those L's make more sense to you.
That wraps it up for today's episode. I'd like to say thank you to everyone for listening. Don't forget to check out all the links down in the show notes. Don't hesitate to reach out to me, introduce yourself. And uh, you hear that outro music coming in. You know what that means. Everybody has greatness within. Even you.